Hi, today at Garfen's Creation, we'll be making this dry bombil pickle, also known as dry bombay duck pickle. This dry bombay duck pickle is much needed during the monsoons when there is less fresh fish available. It goes well with just almost everything. So let's start with the recipe and you'll find all the ingredients in the description box below. We will begin by cleaning the dry bombay ducks. I have taken around 50 medium sized dried bombils. After purchasing the bombay ducks and you feel that it is a bit wet, you can keep it in the sun for a few days. So now first we need to clean them. We will be removing all the fins from the sides and cutting off the tail as well. You can use the larger size of the bombils or even the smaller size will do. The stomach portion of the bombil too needs to be cleaned as there's lots of food left inside it which gets dried along with the bombil. So after cutting it, just try and clean it and remove whatever extra is there. And we'll also be cutting off the head. You can also use other types of dried fish for making this pickle as well. Once the bombil have been cleaned clean, they will be divided into smaller pieces. Since these are medium size, I will be cutting it into 3 pieces. You can cut them into any size of your choice. These sizes are perfect as these can be easily stored in the bottles as well. If you do not have a kitchen scissor, you can use a knife too to clean the bombils as well. Using the same recipe, you can make this pickle out of fresh fish as well. You just need to fry the surmai pieces or even prawns, fresh prawns can be used. And once it is fried and cooled, you can add it to the same recipe of this pickle. As you can see, there is so much of dirt in the stomach of these dried bombils, which has to be cleaned well before we could make the pickle. There are lots of varieties of recipes for this dried bombay duck pickle. And you may find that the bombay duck pickle which I am going to share today has got lots of spices and gravy in it. The extra masala coats the bombay ducks well and tastes much better with time. So now I will be cleaning and cutting all of these bombay ducks in the same way and then we will follow the next step. Once you have cut all the bombay ducks, we will be washing it in vinegar. I have taken half a cup of vinegar in this bowl and be just washing a little at a time. Washing the bombay ducks in vinegar will remove whatever impurities that is left. This will help the pickle to last a longer time. I am just rubbing it a little with my fingers so that whatever dust or impurities are there will get washed in the vinegar. Just squeeze out the excess water and keep it in the plate while I continue washing the rest of it. In this entire pickle recipe, I have not used any water. In this way, you can preserve the pickle for a longer time. This recipe will be having a lot of masala in it. So instead of 50 pieces, you can also add 60 pieces of Bombay Ducks in this recipe. So now the Bombay's are all washed well. I will just pat dry it with a napkin. Just to remove any extra moisture from this as we need to fry them next. You can also use a kitchen paper towel and wipe it dry. So now this is dried, let's fry them. We will just shallow fry the Bombay pieces. For that I have heated a pan and added 1 tablespoon of oil in it. I have kept the flame on medium and once the oil is hot enough, I will be dropping in some bombils at a time. We will fry this on medium flame for about 2-3 to three minutes till it gets a nice brown color. Do stir and flip them in between so that it gets a nice brown color and gets well fried from all sides. We will be frying the bombils in batches so that it cooks well. We will cook the bombil well as later on we will be just adding it to the masala and not be cooking it much. Besides this, it will also remove all the moisture and increase the shell life of the pickle. So now these are just fried well. We will just remove it out in a bowl. So now once this is done, I will continue frying the rest of the bombils in the same way. If you want to make fresh fish pickle or even prawns pickle, you need to fry them just like this before and then add it to the masala paste later on. 
The dried Bombay dark pickle has got various names in various regions. And the taste and the flavour too varies. So this is my version of how we make the dried Bombay pickle at our place. Once the Bombay are fried, let's make the pickle masala. For that, you can take around 25 to 30 Kashmiri chilies. I've taken until the bigger size ones. I've also taken 5 of the spicy variety to add more spice to the pickle. I've also taken 2 inches of ginger. I've just made it into smaller pieces. 1 large pod of garlic that is around 32 pieces. 1 and half teaspoon of black pepper. 3 sticks of cinnamon. 15 cloves that is long. 1 and half tablespoon of jeera or cumin seeds. 1 tablespoon plus 1 teaspoon of haldi or turmeric powder. Salt, I have taken 1 teaspoon. You can adjust it accordingly. And to grind all of this into a fine paste, I have taken some vinegar. I need approximate 2 cups of vinegar for this. And to cook the paste, 1 cup of cooking oil. Do check the description box for the entire recipe where I have mentioned in grams and spoons and cups as well. I will break down the chilies into smaller pieces so that it's easier to grind. I will add all the ingredients into the mixer jar. So along with these ingredients, I'll be also adding that one cup of vinegar so that the chilies get nice and soft and it's easier to grind. So I'll just add the one cup of vinegar and let the chilies get soaked for around 15 to 20 minutes. So after 15 minutes, the chilies are a bit soft. So I'll just grind it with some more vinegar. So to get this into a nice fine paste, I've used another cup. So I've used a total of two cups of vinegar. Now lastly, we just have to cook this masala paste. For that, I've taken a pan and heated it and added one cup of cooking oil into it. Once the oil is hot enough, we'll just add in the masala paste that which we had just ground. Be careful at the moment as it starts bubbling. So after adding the masala paste, just give it a quick stir. And mix it well. I have kept the flame on medium and we need to keep stirring this in between so that it does not get burned. I will also rinse the mixy jar with just a little vinegar and add it to this masala too. Now I'll mix that as well. As the dry Bombay ducks already have salt in it, I'm just adding one teaspoon of salt. You can also adjust it according to your taste. And just mix that as well. Now I will let this masala cook for around 12 to 15 minutes till the masala is well cooked and you get a little oil coming on top. So now after 15 minutes you can see the oil has come on top. I'll just add one teaspoon of sugar here. Sugar is going to balance the taste of the masala. Now just mix the sugar well and we'll just cook this for just another one minute. As you can see, this is a lot of masala and the Bombay ducks are really going to get well soaked in this. As this matures, the Bombay ducks will absorb all the taste and flavor from this masala and get more tastier by time. So now it's time to add the fried Bombay ducks into the masala paste. We'll just give it a nice stir so that everything is coated well. There is no need of cooking it more. You can just switch off the flame now. Depending on the vinegar that you have used, you can adjust it now and also check for the salt before we could bottle it up. And there, our dried Bombay duck pickle is ready. We will just now let it cool completely before putting it into a sterilized bottle. So now let's store the Bombay duck pickle. Make sure that the bottle is nice, clean and dry. You can fill this quantity of the pickle into smaller bottles. Smaller bottles are better so that it remains for a longer time. You need to store this in a nice cool dry place and since the weather is so hot, would always recommend keeping it in the fridge. Once you have filled the bottle, close it tightly. So now you can store this bottle in the fridge for a quite a long time. This way, the dry Bombay duck pickle too will not get spoiled and last for the whole monsoon. If you want to give this pickle to someone, just add a paper doily on top and tie it with a string. You could also stick a label on it, writing what it contains and the date, so the person knows what it is. 
Now you can relish this dried Bombay duck pickle with most of the dishes. I love it best with dal and rice. This tastes best after 7 days. So give it some time to mature and then enjoy. Thanks for watching and do subscribe to Garfin's Creation. And I'll see you soon in the next video too. Take care. Bye bye.